Welcome to Daily Armor. Today I'm going to be in the book of John chapter 15 looking at verse number 12. I do want to add that the book of John is a very valuable book um, to me. It's um, something that I, I enjoy reading, enjoy going to the book of John. Um, I was um, reading a lot last night, stayed up very late last night, just looking for answers, looking for um, you know, direction from the Lord, and he was giving me direction for what I was going to need before I knew I was going to need it. Um, yesterday, um, was having some difficulties really for several days. I've been in, um, in a lot of pain in my back, and I was thinking about how that the physical pain um, isn't always a bad thing. It makes us more compassionate. It makes us, you know, rely on the Lord more. It just, I don't know, it just, there's so many benefits that takes place when we are going through a storm, a trial, a heaviness, um, a storm, you know, those times of pain, um, physical or otherwise. And as I was kind of thinking towards that way for several days now, um, probably not quite a week, um, but several days. And um, the Lord was helping me, he was giving me scripture, um, as he always does. He's always faithful. To, I might have to hunt for a while. I might have to pray about it for a while and just, you know, wait. And then he gives me like several things. And I know that there's more to it than what I'm seeing, that I'm going to need it more than what I realize. And I don't know what's coming. I can't, you know, there's a lot of things I don't know and I don't understand. But as um, some things happened last night um, that really I understood why he was giving me the scripture from, you know, several days before um, he just, this one thing just kept going over and over and over my mind. Just, I mean, constantly the Holy Spirit just constantly saying, and like I said, it was before I realized I was really, really, really going to need it. Um, <clears throat> God has a plan. He's got what we need, uh, no matter what we're going through, no matter what we're facing, no matter what happens, no matter what kind of news, um, is shared with you, uh, good or bad in victory or when you feel defeated um, and in and, and anguish, he's got what we need. And he just kept telling me in an, in preparation, in advance, mind you, um, he's given me help before I even realize that I'm going to need some help in, this, in a certain area. And this is what he gave me, love one another just kept saying it over and over again, just kept feeling like that was coming from the Holy Spirit. And I'm like, okay, Lord, I'm going to love one another. You know, am I, am, you know, I, I didn't really know what the intensity of it was about. Um, but then when he showed me today, last night, um, I realized, okay, Lord, I'm asking you for help. I prayed this morning and I was saying, Lord, I don't really know what to do with this information that I've been given. I really don't know how to act or react. I really don't know how to move forward. Uh, um, you know, how do we handle things? You know, it's, I felt like I was, I was going to the doctor and I was needing some help. I was needing some a prescription or a remedy or can we run some tests and see what's wrong? Um, you know, and when we find out what's wrong, can we, you know, can we have a plan on how to handle this, how to attack this situation? What do we do? And when I'm, you know, going through and I just kept, you know, love one another, love one another. I'm like, okay, Lord, I've got to find that verse. Um, there's actually, you know, another verse as well. Romans 13, 8 says love one another. But I was like, no, that's not what I'm, that's not what he wants me, wants for me. And when I looked up that one first, and then I, it was in John 15, 12. So I looked that up and it says, this is my commandment. I'm like, well, that can't be more plain. This is my commandment. I'm asking, you know, like I said, previously I had been praying. I wrote out my prayer, Lord, 
Um, I, I can't, um, I don't even know what to do with this information that I've been given. Um, it's brought me great sorrow and I don't know, I don't know what to do. And then I'm, then he, I know this is the scripture he's given for me, um, takes me to John 15, 12, and it says, this is my commandment. Now, when you go to the doctor and you are, you know, asking that doctor to use his valuable knowledge that he's went to school for all these years, he's got all this, you know, that he can bring to the table. You're asking him for his, his counsel, his advice, and, you know, you're counting on him to know the answers. They don't always know the answers. They're just human like we are. They're way more educated, way more educated than myself. And I have to, you know, consider what a doctor says in any given situation. But I'm not talking about going to a doctor here. I'm talking about going to the great physician. When you simply don't know what to do and you go to the great physician, you go to the Holy One of Israel, you go to our master, you go to our creator, I go to the rock of my salvation I go to my strong tower. I go to my everything. And when he gives me the response and it kept being love one another, love one another, I'm like, okay, Lord, I'm going to go look that up. And when I, when I went to John 15, 12, I'm like, this is, this is what he want me, wants me to read. And I'm writing it out. And it's, this is my, my commandment that ye love one another as I have loved you. Simple words. The prescription was very simple. When you look up um, the, the word commandment in the Bible dictionary, it says prescription. I was like, oh my goodness, prescription, precept, injunction. What is an injunction? It's an authoritative, authoritative prescription. This is with authority, not just that this is his prescription, this is, it's not like, I can't treat him like I can treat a doctor. Well, you're going to give me this prescription, but I'm really not sure that I'm going to do this. I really don't know that I want to, you know, take this prescription. I really want to get a couple of other opinions. I really want to make sure that this is, you know, not just what you think, but maybe get a couple of other opinions about this. You know, we'll, we'll second guess what man has for us. And we should, we should, we're, we're flawed and we're imperfect. Um, and we can make mistakes and I don't know what anybody needs. Um, I was feeling led to give some advice the other day. And then, you know, within 30 minutes, the Lord was like, you don't need to give any advice or any counsel. You need to listen and pray and you let me give them the information when they're ready for it. Um, what, whatever their information, whatever the, the prescription will be, this is my prescription. Somebody else didn't give me this prescription, though. This came from Jesus himself. This is my commandment. This is his prescription for me. I don't know if it's a prescription for you. You have to ask him what you need, whatever you're going through, um, whether you've got a physical um, you know, problem, whether you've got a, an emotional problem, whether you've been slapped in the face, um, because that's definitely what I was feeling last night, just really slapped in the face, just really um, taken back and shocked. And I was like, Lord, what do I do? You know, and, and you got to go to the one who is always right. And then you've got to, and I've got to, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to, I'm hearing the prescriptions being given to me. He's been telling me, was telling me before I even knew that, this was going to be new information to me. Um, and he was already telling me the prescription. I just didn't know what it was for yet. <laughs> I didn't know what it was for yet. And he says, this is my commandment that ye love one another. Now, this love is to be, um, when I looked that up by Bible Dictionary, it was entertain, welcome, be fond of, love dearly. Just keep loving dearly. Just keep being fond of. Just keep being welcoming. I don't want to avoid any situation. I don't want to. I mean, I'm. I was wondering why I was feeling avoided anyway. Um, but I didn't. 
I, I didn't know what it was about, but I'm still supposed to um, not change. I'm not to change the way I feel, the way I, the way I love, um, the, the way that I want to be welcoming and that's the prescription he's given for me. And, and he describes that as I have loved you. And when you think about how has God loved, how has Jesus loved me? How has he loved me? First of all, he loved me first. He initiated the love. So I, I can't just wait. I've got to initiate it. I've got to, you know, I've got to put myself out there. Am I going to get hurt? Yeah, I've already been hurt. We're going to get hurt again. It's what we, that doesn't mean that we don't put ourselves out there to love anyway. Jesus was hurt. He was hurt by his followers. He had people that were following him until they found a, you know, they were like, well, this is getting boring or this is not what I thought or it looks a little better over here. And, and he felt that. Um, he experienced that and he loves anyway and he loved me first so if I'm going to love somebody like Jesus loves me I'm going to love I'm going to initiate it I'm going to love first um, he said never he said he would never leave me nor forsake me that is um, vital to me feeling love because I've had um, when you have a parent walk away that's quite difficult to get over that's quite difficult to deal with. And you don't trust that, I mean, anybody can walk away and everybody can walk away. Um, and it's just a hard thing to get over. But Jesus said, that may have happened, but that won't happen with me. He's saying, I won't leave you and I won't forsake you. He says, even if somebody leaves you, you don't leave them. You don't forsake them. Even if you... Um, you know, don't know what to do. Just keep loving. Just keep being there. Just be, keep being ready, being welcoming, being fond of, loving dearly. Just keep loving dearly because that's what he does for me. And when I'm busy out here running a squirrel and I've wandered off, the Lord's still loving me and he, he'll come get me. Um, he says he'll even be with me until the end. So no matter how far the journey goes, just go the distance. He comforts me with his love. Um, I experienced that um, through my, even through um, my, my spouse. He takes on responsibilities and he, he sometimes he gets some hard things that's brought to him, and he doesn't always share those with me. Um, he doesn't, and, and some of it is confidence, and some of it is he's he's doing it to protect me. He's been hurt, but he doesn't want me to be hurt, and so he tries to delay my hurt, and as I found out last night, my husband delayed my hurt, which means that he was going through a hurt, alone that he I am his best friend and I'm the one that he can bounce stuff off when he's hurt when he's been disappointed when he's had a slap in the face I'm supposed to give him comfort but he didn't allow me to do that why because he was protecting me he was comforting me and helping me when he was protecting me and then afterwards as well. Um, what's another way that Jesus loves me? He sacrificed for me. Um, he sacrificed for you. He gave the ultimate for me and for you. And I'm not gonna, I can't sacrifice my life for anybody and it make any difference. Um, Jesus did that and he's the only one that could do that, but I can, um, I can think about others and sacrifice self in the midst of that. I can do what somebody else needs me to do and just love on them anyway.
pray for him anyway, be there for him anyway, just stay completely, dearly fond of them and think they're just, you know, the greatest person to be around anyway. I can do that. You can do that. You can just think that anyway. Be that for them anyway. And Jesus did all those things for me. And he wants me to love others that way. And it's hard. And it's difficult. But that's the prescription. And when you're asking, Lord, how do I take this hurt? And how do I mend it? And he gives you the prescription. We've got to follow through with it. And that's how it's going to be mended. That's how it's going to be better than before. Sometimes when you have an injury, it's even stronger than before when you get healed. Um, and that's what, I'm, that's what my hope is, is that, um, that when, I, when I'm mended, when my broken heart is mended, that it'll be stronger than before. And I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to obey his prescription. I'm just going to love, love one another, no matter no matter what, love one another, be fond of, dearly, think they're wonderful, engage, love first. I don't know. Just be there for one another, even when it's hard, even when it's difficult, even when you don't understand, when you don't get it, when you feel rejected. Love them anyway. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again soon.